I came here just over one year ago with the purpose of synthesizing the historically separate sections of rheumatology and allergy immunology, as well as creating an entirely new Center for Human Immunobiology. The immune system is extraordinarily elegant in its ability to manage complex challenges. Occasionally, the immune system becomes diverted in its task. The fields of immunology, allergy, and rheumatology are really joined by this common theme of the immune system not doing what it's supposed to be doing. In allergy, the immune system becomes confused and misdirected and acts against things in the environment such as pollens or foods. The National Center for Healthcare Statistics just released a report last week defining a 50% increase over the past decade in food allergies. One in 13 children has food allergy. For that reason, a priority program of mine has been in truly enhancing a food allergy initiative and program here at Texas Children's Hospital and enabling Texas Children's Hospital as a destination for children with food allergy. We really need to be able to bring novel treatments to children of Houston, and there's been great excitement about the treatment and even potentially cure of food allergy through desensitization protocols. And I'm pleased to announce that we will be going live with food allergy to desensitization here at Texas Children's Hospital. Rheumatology is the study of a misdirected immune system, particularly as the immune system starts attacking one's own body. There are a variety of diagnoses which result from the immune system directed against joints, other tissues in the body that give rise to debilitating symptoms. There are very few pediatric rheumatologists in the United States. In fact, roughly only about 250 pleased to say that we have eight here at Texas Children's Hospital, one of the largest pediatric rheumatology groups in the country. In immunology, the field of clinical immunology, there are also these rare disorders where children are born missing parts of the immune system and they are susceptible to their environment. This field is rapidly expanding. It's teaching us more about the human immune system every day but also we're appreciating that there are many more patients that need diagnostic services and that need to be brought to appropriate treatments. Through this facility and diagnostic laboratory that we have here at Texas Children's Hospital, we're able to see patients and perform tests in most cases on the same day or the very next morning. That's all part of our mission to provide the very best care to any patient that walks through the door of Texas Children's Hospital. One of the things that I came here to do is to start a brand new Center for Human Immunobiology, essentially to take world-class basic science immunologists, pair them with cutting-edge technologies, and integrate them into a clinical section focused on immunological diseases. The Texas Children's Hospital Center for Human Immunobiology focuses around several key technologies. One is direct imaging of cells. This is through cutting edge microscopy and microscopy of living cells, and most excitingly, super resolution microscopy. I am pleased to announce that we have the very first microscope of its kind in North America. Using our GSTED instrument, we've been able to resolve objects smaller than 40 nanometers. These objects have never before been discernible. And not only can we discern these objects using microscopy, but we can discern them in living cells, and we can discern them in three dimensions. But using this technology is like putting on glasses to see something you've been unable to see your whole life. Since coming to Texas Children's Hospital, we've been growing quite a bit. A metric that we use here at Texas Children's Hospital is third available appointment. In both the allergy immunology service and rheumatology service, the third available appointment was over 100 days. In rheumatology, it is now at about two weeks. In allergy immunology, it's just over a month. There's an incredible can-do attitude here at Texas Children's Hospital, and that attitude is infectious, and when people see it, it's something they want to be part of. And we've been able to bring in people with a variety of expertise, again, both from outside of this region and locally, 
to come in and join our teams, to be part of our mission, and to be part of our shared goal for the future. Thank you.